Happy America. I got my tail on backwards and it's time to fucking party. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that joke that you probably don't even get. All right. <laughs> it's not even that funny, even if you do get it. <laughs> oh, look at my cross. All right. Um, I'm talking about things. I would say NSFW warning. I'm gonna talk about a dream I had that you might, that I'm scared to talk about. So I don't know if you'll find it weird. I found it weird. I'm finding it less weird now that I Googled it and like processed it properly. First, I'm gonna talk about the events of yesterday because the events of yesterday led to the dream and then led to today and my analysis. So, um, yesterday, there's this lady I won't name her, because everyone is watching me. <laughs> Apparently. Um, or last time I named a lady, it was, it was a privacy violation. <laughs> oh God, I shouldn't even have said that much. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> me and her be flirty. I push things pretty fast. Um, and I kind of freaked her out and offended her. And that was upsetting for her. I could see it. She was like, I'm really freaked out right now. Like, she pretty much just said that. And also, she was literally like, like, you kind of see she was just kind of shaking a little. And I'm like, fuck, bro. Like, I've just completely made this person incredibly nervous, bro. Like, this is fucked, bro. And, and that made me nervous. And then I was like, fuck. Like, and it also made me feel ashamed. I'm like, fuck. Like, I'm such a crabby person. And uh, just a wild time last night. Um, and now we're talking today, so things are going better now, but, um, or, the, you know, they went better later last night also. Um, so then last night, or even this morning, well, first of all, last night I was kind of upset. And so instead of going to bed, I, like, watched the Bojack Horseman, and eventually I went to bed. And this morning, I was having a dream. And, uh, it's about, like, having sex with my sister. And I feel awkward enough saying that, so I don't necessarily want to go into... It's not like... It's not like I had sex with my sister. But it was about, like, me and my sister were, like, <laughs> trying to escape to have sex or something. <laughs> And it wasn't going well. We were, there were tons of obstacles. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, I feel less weird about the fact that I had this dream now because, well, rather than freak out, I was like, all right, well, let's try to learn what this means. So I Googled it, and, uh, do you know the first result? I didn't look at it a ton because I'm really satisfied with the first result, so maybe I'm wrong. But, uh, I said, well, okay, well, that symbolizes, like, events of the previous day and maybe like you know a sister is someone you're not supposed to have sex with so it symbolizes like someone you're not supposed to have sex with and that makes a lot of sense because I was kind of like pushing things in that direction and then and she was like not about it in a lot of ways and so it was like I was uh <laughs> does that make sense I hope you got it <laughs> Oh, am I blushing, bro? Fuck. It's possible. <laughs> oh, I can't tell. Probably not. Possibly. Maybe just sun. Sun ed. So anyways, that all happened. But yeah, um... I don't know, I wanted to talk about it. Because, like, I remember years ago, I had dreams about having sex with my sister. And I just kind of, like, freaked out. And I was like, I'm clearly a horrible person. And now it's like, okay. It's a symbol from the subconscious of this other thing. Right? It's not... It's about the archetype of my sister. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So it was like yesterday, like Kyle was my archetypal sister and I was trying to push things and, ah, oh, I said her name, fuck.
Fuck. All right, whatever. Five minutes in. It's not like anyone's watching this. I can't believe I'm posting this on YouTube, bro. This is a bad idea. God is real. God is real. God is real. Fuck, bro. Oh. Uh, I need to choose a, a different lifestyle. <laughs>